Hi, I'm Eric Siegel with Eric'sTrains.com and welcome to episode 34 of my video train blog series. It's late June 2013 and I'm just a few weeks away from a series of open houses that I'm going to have in July to show the layout to visitors that are coming to Atlanta for the NMRA's 2013 National Convention. So in order to prepare for those open houses, I'm going to be doing a lot of work on the layout over the next few weeks and I'll be showing you that progress in these blog videos. So on that note, I want to show you something really big today. As many of you probably already know, I've been talking about a big 18-foot steel trestle that's going to be going across this main table, and it's going to be built in three different sections by Jim Ballman over at Stainless Unlimited. And the first section of that bridge has arrived today. It came via freight, and it's outside in a big wooden crate. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, here's the wooden crate that the bridge shipped in. It's big. It's about eight feet long, two feet wide, and a foot or so deep. It had to be shipped via freight. You can't just ship something like this via regular UPS or FedEx. It has to come freight, and it took about five days or so to arrive, so it was pretty quick. Now, there have been thunderstorms all day, and I think it's going to start raining again soon, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up, and we'll take a look inside and then try to get this down into the basement. I've got the top off the crate and there's the bridge and it's a beauty. It's all stainless steel. It's actually upside down in the crate. You're looking at the underside of the bridge. There is a support tower right there at one end. Then there's another tower at the other end. And then in between, these supports are going to be slid underneath once I've got the bridge in place on the layout. Should be really, really cool. This thing looks awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and get it inside and get it on the layout table. Okay, here it is. I've got the bridge up on the table and it's in the approximate position that it will be when I install it permanently. Obviously, it's not installed permanently yet. I've still got a lot of work left to do on it before it's complete. I need to raise it up to the right level so that the track is at the same level as the track on the table over there. I need to make sure it's level and balanced. I need to paint it and weather it. And then I also need to complete the deck up on top. So there's a lot of work left to do. Hopefully I can get that work done in the next two or three weeks before the open houses in July, but we'll see. I've even got some track up on top just to give you an idea of what it's going to look like when it's complete. Now, this is 100% stainless steel. It's made by my friend Jim Ballman at Stainless Unlimited, and he makes these from 100% stainless steel. It's welded. You can see the little weld marks, and it just looks incredible. I can't get over how great this looks. You can see the horizontal supports underneath. I mean, it's just phenomenal. But like I said, a lot of work left to do before it's complete. When it's done, it'll look a lot like this trestle over here. This was also made by Jim Ballman at Stainless Unlimited. This is also a steel trestle, but I've painted it, I've weathered it, and I've finished the deck up top. So when the other one's complete, it'll look a lot like this one. Now, I've mentioned this before, but this section is the first of three sections that will make a giant 18-foot trestle that's going to reach across this entire table. So this is the first section. It's the longest. It's about eight feet long. Section two, which I'm hoping to have in place by November of this year, will pick up where this one leaves off and come over here, right about to where that evolution hybrid is. And then the third section, which I'd like to have in place by early 2014, will come the rest of the way and meet up with this track here, thereby completing the loop of track on the top level and completing one heck of a trestle across this main table. But it just looks amazing and it's gonna completely change the look of this table. Now, a couple minor things. One thing that I thought of now that it's in place is that on the lower level, what I may do is for the track signals on the lower level, I may attach those signals to these horizontal supports. I think that'll look really cool. And then also, because this thing is made of stainless steel, this is going to act as a ground plane and reduce interference with the Lionel Legacy Command System signal. Some of you may have seen this before, but I've got this copper wire above this track on the lower level. This functions as a ground plane, and it reduces the interference with the Legacy System. But because this is stainless steel, I can now use this as the ground plane and eliminate this ugly wire. So I'll have this great looking trestle that's carrying trains across it, but at the same time, it'll act as a ground plane, eliminating any interference between the bottom level and the top level. Here's another look from this end. You can see the support tower there, 
And then the three horizontal support towers in the middle. They look fantastic. And they can be moved as well. If you recall, these were packed separately in the crate. So I can move these around as needed. There's the longest of the horizontal towers. And then there's the final tower on this end. This thing looks awesome. I can't get over how good it looks. It looks better than I thought it would. You know, when you order things like this, you always have a picture in your mind of what it will look like. And it's great when it looks better than the picture you had in your mind. And that's the case with this. I'm so happy with the way this turned out. Now over here, this is a perfect example of what I was talking about when I said this thing is not complete yet. You can see there's a big gap between the track and the bridge. It won't be like that when it's complete. It's like that because I just laid this track up here just to give you an idea of what it was going to look like. But the bridge is lower than the track over here on the table. But when it's complete, I'll raise it up on concrete piers so that in the end, it'll be nice and level and it'll look just fine. So there it is again. That's about it for now. Stay tuned over the next few weeks and you can follow me as I complete this as I paint it and weather it and complete the deck and so forth. Should be a lot of fun. Keep an eye out for those videos. But that's it for now. I'm Eric Siegel and I'll see you next time.